Hey guys, I'm back again making another video. I wanted to do a Nikosi Perry highlight video, talk about what I saw at the game and how he looked. So let's get this thing started. I felt like he was just a, a, a better quarterback than Malik this game as far as running the offense and being able to contribute. Uh, getting the passes out faster. I I wasn't at the game when Malik first uh, started it because uh, of traffic, but when I finally got there, Nikosi was already starting. But I heard that Malik um, had two drives, but he didn't do anything with it. <laughs> Brevin dropping that pass right there. I think he was kind of surprised to finally get a pass and that was actually in his hands and not behind him. I don't think Malik has even completed a pass to him. Maybe one at the most. Um, Nikosi seems like he targets him and actually has chemistry with him. And Brevin balled out this game for sure. Again, Nikosi hits Brevin. This kid is going to be a beast. I just don't think that um, anybody... Can really match up with him if they put a linebacker on him like most teams do. Usually put a linebacker on a tight end. They're not going to be able to match up with this kid. He's just too good. Another thing, the announcers this game, Andre Ware, he was terrible. Mike Harley getting the ball. I've, I've watched so many games where Malik puts the ball behind the receiver on a screen pass. Nikosi... Puts it in front of the receiver so he has time to make a move. Great throw to Lawrence right here. Lawrence had a game, man. He did he did his thing. I was really down on him last year as far as not making a few plays, but he at the at the end of the year he kind of found his um, groove and he's been balling ever since. That was kind of a bad screen pass right there. As you see, the uh, receiver didn't have enough time, but it, I feel like he gave the receivers a better uh, chance than uh, Malik does. He isn't as fast as Malik. Uh, maybe not as fast, but I, I guess you could say a better runner. Uh, I think they're both by the same speed, but uh, I think Malik is a better runner than Nikosi is. Uh, Malik sure is, is not a good passer. He's just not. And Mike Harley had a career game with Nikosi in there. They definitely have a better chemistry than Malik does with him. I was glad to see Mike step up when Jeff uh, got um, dehydrated. I was kind of upset at DJ this game, though. I felt like he um, was thinking too much and kept getting flat-footed and stopped in the backfield or stopped before he had to. But this is the type of thing that I think Nikosi is going to excel at. When uh, he sees something, he isn't going to just wait. He's going to make the play and go. He's not going to sit back and think. That's what the one thing I always had a problem with Rozier was that he would sit back and then just think. Think he wouldn't just go make the play. You can see it's just effortless for this kid. He does need to watch his, um, uh, I guess, surroundings when he leads the receiver. That was really close to being an interception there. But this pass right here was amazing. I loved it. Over the DB, right to Harley. I think if Harley would have kept going towards the right, he could have maybe scored or got in close more yards but um this pass is just too nice Malik does not make this pass he doesn't I'm sorry he just can't this pass right here amazing the touch on this pass and Jordan's catch are just out of this world right here I I I, I can't say it enough how um, this kid just looks amazing when he actually has time and, and, and his ball placement, you just can't be um, taught. Now, do you think Malik makes that type of throw? I don't believe it. 
Not in a million years. The next, um, in the next couple of plays, is one of my, my favorite play of the game is when he avoids the rush and hits Lawrence in the backfield. I think that's that's my favorite play. And it was good to see some of these young kids get a, a chance to play like Cameron Davis and D. Wiggins. But I felt like Nikosi was spraying the ball around to multiple receivers, not just one. He did have one interception where I wasn't happy with the play he made. He tried to seem to make a play, try to make a play when he didn't need to. But it, it was nice. This is the play I'm talking about right here when he avoids the rush, hits Lawrence in the back of the end zone. Perfect. Malik throws that into the stands. Or runs right there. He just doesn't make that throw. Nikosi keeps his eyes downfield and makes this throw. He gives the receiver a chance. Malik overthrows that nine out of ten times. And Nikosi runs when he needs to, not. Not, it doesn't look to run. That's the thing. He runs when he needs to and makes the play. Keeps the drive going. Malik does not keep the drive going. Great play call there. Mark seems to call better plays when um, Nikosi's in the game. So, one of the... Um, Main things that I, I I feel like I saw with uh, Nikosi is that he he helped the team improve. He didn't just stagnate the offense like Malik does. He helped the team improve and be better. He gave the wide receivers a chance to get yards out their carry, and I I think that if he can keep starting and Martrit gets out of his own way and puts this kid in the starting quarterback position then this team can be successful going forward. So uh, I'll talk to you guys next week after the North Carolina game. I'll be going there on Thursday. Hopefully I can see a few people there. I saw some people last time at the Savannah State game and had a great time. So I'll check you guys later. Peace. <laughs>